Of course, we have recently been hearing about the Philadelphia Axis, and this is a simplified explanation of it. The name Philadelphia Axis, or Salahuddin Axis, is given to a strip extending on the border between Egypt and the Gaza Strip, from the Mediterranean Sea in the north to the Karim Shalom crossing in the south, with a length of about 14 kilometers. As for Israel's goal around the Philadelphia Axis, the main goal behind the war on Gaza is to tighten the noose on the Palestinians and exert military pressure on them to head towards the Egyptian border, where the military operation began in northern Gaza and then pushed the residents of Gaza to head to southern Gaza to escape the war. Indeed, Palestinians set up tents to live in southern Gaza and then, when a military operation is carried out on the Philadelphia Axis, it is obvious that the residents of Gaza, fearing that the brutality of war will befall them, will resort to entering the Egyptian borders, which is the goal that Israel seeks to achieve, which is to eliminate the Palestinian right to exist. There is no land and no people, then there is no state for the Palestinian people. Many statements coming from the Israeli side, especially from right-wing supporters and right-wing representatives in the Israeli government, express the largest and strategic Israeli goal that lies in deporting the people of Gaza to Sinai with the aim of eliminating the solution of a Palestinian state and building more Israeli settlements in the Palestinian territories. Here, we are not speaking in vain or making arbitrary accusations, because their statements are the best evidence of their illegal plans. That is why we made a documentary inventory of their most important announced statements regarding the displacement of the people of Gaza. First, Statement by the occupation Prime Minister Netanyahu, he is pushing for voluntary migration of Gazans to other countries, and the Israeli Prime Minister confirmed that work is underway to find countries that want to absorb Gazans as refugees. Second, a statement from Ben Gafir, the entity's Minister of Security, in which he said, Gazans must be encouraged to migrate voluntarily and given financial incentives to do so. Third, Entity Finance Minister Smotrich called for the return of Jewish settlers to the Gaza Strip after the end of the war, considering that the Palestinians of the Strip should be encouraged to immigrate to other countries. This was an inventory of the official announced permits. So what about the unannounced ones? as the clear role of the Egyptian state since the beginning of the war in rejecting any attempt to displace Palestinians to Egypt or any other country because it would lead to the liquidation of the Palestinian cause. D.R. Ashwan stated to the State Information Service, attempts to forcibly displace the people of Gaza to Sinai are a red line that Egypt cannot allow. That is why we must be very attentive to what the entity is planning and let the whole world know the entity's plans.